Happy Arvo. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing good. It's been a little while. The last couple of videos haven't worked. <laughs> That's all I will say about that. But we are here, hopefully. Hopefully we're here. <laughs> um, Happy Mon... Well, no, it's Tuesday. No, it might be Wednesday there by the time you guys see this. Gosh, I don't know. Anyway, amazing places to visit in Australia. Sounds fun to me. Let's see. Wonders, dazzling beaches, plenty of wildlife, modern and cosmopolitan metropolises. I'm a little bit disappointed he's not Australian, but we're gonna keep going. Okay, that's a that's a nice ship. And excellent weather are some of the attributes that Australia has to offer. There are endless things that you can do here in Australia. This looks like absolute bliss. This is like heaven. Look at this. What, what's it called again? Para, para sail? No. Para, para surfboarding on this. Where are we at? Like the Great Barrier Reef? Like, look how clear this water is. We know it can be overwhelming not knowing what to do in a country with so much to offer. So here are 10 places you should not miss. Where the heck are they? What are they swimming in? I, this looks like we're looking through a microscope at like some amoeba type things. But there's people there. This on your next adventure to Australia. Number one, Sydney. No, it's Sydney. We're just, okay. A whole city. Okay. All right. I was looking for a little bit more specific, but okay. Let's start with Sydney. It's not the capital of Australia. Although I thought it was. Oh, Sydney is the most. I used to think that. I mean, now I know Canberra. Famous and populous city in Australia. It's not the capital. Like any big city. I just want to drive on this highway. It has many attractions, such as the Opera House and the Bay Bridge. Classic. This city certainly has it all. Incredible landscapes, beautiful beaches, lots of nightlife and museums. If you want to enjoy an excellent view of the city, you can go up to the Tower Eye Ooh. Observatory. There's much more to do in this modern city. Whoa, some mermaids. With all around world citizens. Number two. How do you even get to those rocks? There? City with all around world citizens. You need like, I, I need a local to bring me to this rock. That's where it would really come in handy. Having one of you guys be a tour guide. You know, if I came to Australia, I, I wouldn't know how to get there. Number two. I'd probably be the only American there. Great Barrier Reef. The most extensive coral reef system on the face of the earth. The Great Barrier Reef is colossal. It's located in the Coral Sea off the Australian state of Queensland. The uh, GBR, is that what people call it? I've tried to find videos on it. I don't know why I can't find like a good 10 minute video about the Great Barrier Reef. So it's nice to see it. It looks fascinating. It has an area of over 2,900 coral reefs and hundreds of islands and keys all shaped by millions of living organisms over millions of years. And that is the largest organism according to that one roadway trivia game that you guys have. This whole thing is like one organism or something. Today, the reef is one of the most diverse and complex ecosystems in the world. You can visit it and see a remarkable variety of marine life with over 1,500 species of fish and 360 species of coral plus species i just want to get a look at what and 360 how big is this freaking fish man holy crap if these people weren't here i would have thought it was this big but there's some astronauts here so i can see what and how long has this thing been alive 60 species of coral plus many species of whales dolphins sea turtles sea snakes and birds you simply sea snakes i didn't know they actually go under i mean i don't know anything about sea snakes so i'm gonna sound really stupid but i didn't know they actually like went along the bottom of the sea i thought they were just on top you can't miss it number three melbourne Mel okay another melbourne city is the second cool. most populous city in australia and is considered the cultural capital of the country located oh, near really? the southeastern tip of the country in the natural bay of Port Phillip. 
Its multicultural community is reflected in its cuisine and neighborhoods that make it a great place to explore. The city center district is, is the one with the most attractions, such as the Flinders Street train station. You can also see the city from the Eureka Tower. In the Carlton district, you can explore the largest museum in the Southern Hemisphere. The Melbourne Museum wow. shows the city's rich social history, from its indigenous cultures to its fascination with soccer and horse racing. I still don't understand how horses ended up in Australia. How did they get there? Because, yeah, whatever. I guess someone brought them on a boat. Indigenous cultures to its fascination with soccer and horse racing. This museum also has extensive exhibits of natural history. If you like outdoor activities, you can also enjoy the city's parks. What is that? Or go bubble gum? for a swim at the beaches of Melbourne Bay. St. Kilda Beach is one of the most popular, both for swimming and for the clubs and restaurants that line the shore. Number four, Brisbane. Did they like drive something on this to <laughs> smooth out the sand? It's kind of weird. It reminds me of like a, a sand trap in golf. Like someone's raked the whole coast to make it nice and smooth. That's that line the shore. Number four, Brisbane. On the banks of the Brisbane River lies this city with a fantastic climate. Brisbane is a popular tourist destination. I hope the scooters are cheaper there than they are here in America. They're so much fun to rent an electric scooter, but it costs like 10 bucks every 15 minutes, I feel like. Maybe not. I don't know. Lively and dynamic. It's kind of expensive, though. Dynamic that's bathed in beautiful sunshine all year round. It's the third largest city in Australia, with a population of 2 million people. Eat. The best things <laughs> to do in Brisbane are outdoor activities, such as cycling, climbing, or hiking you in Brisbane. You always see this, this right here, this like corridor. It's so beautiful. Brisbane are outdoor activities, such as cycling, climbing, or hiking. This is a fun and friendly city with a vibrant music scene venues, restaurants, and all kinds of bars to choose from. Wow. Number five, the Blue Mountains National Park. Ooh. This beautiful national park was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Located 81 kilometers west of Sydney, it's a popular hiking area. It's called the Blue Mountains because of the blue haze emanating from the numerous eucalyptus trees. These are some crazy waterfalls. This park protects more than 664,000 acres of wilderness and has spectacular gorges, waterfalls, aboriginal rock paintings, and 140 kilometers of hiking trails. The most famous- Oh my God, there's really people sitting on the edge? I don't think that's worth it. Not even for Instagram, you know, like the photo isn't worth it. Oh God, I, I would never do that. Even just walking near it would be famous. scary to me. Attractions of the park are the imposing sandstone rock formations called the Three Sisters. Even just leaning against this railing, I'm like, do I really trust whoever? Because eventually, I don't know how many like centuries it'll take, but this railing is going to break at some point. Hey, I'm trying to uh, film. Thank you. Sisters. Hiking, rappelling, climbing, mountain biking, and horseback riding are popular activities in the park. Number six, Tasmania. Isolated from the rest of the country, Tasmania would be cool to go to, is the state of Tasmania. Nevertheless, despite being far away from civilization, holy crap, Tasmania has some incredible landscapes. It's one of the best. What on earth? Once again, I don't know if I want to be the one walking across this bridge because I don't know how many millennium it'll take, but this thing's got to fall eventually, right? The tectonic plates? Places to visit. Almost half of its surface is protected to preserve. I'm not actually like normally this paranoid about nature and like, oh, it's so scary. But I'm just saying it would be it would, it would be fun to walk across and be like that. Ah. It's natural wealth. <laughs> with desolate wilderness and alpine plateaus interspersed with stunning white beaches 
waterfalls, and forests, exploring its terrain is fascinating. You can take a boat ride along its shores and watch dolphins, penguins, and seals along the way. Oh, I would. With a wealth of local produce, eating and drinking in the capital Hobart is an absolute pleasure. And the restaurant- There's a castle in Australia? And bars are divine. The island is also home to an eclectic range of festivals throughout the year, where you can enjoy local beer and wine- Cascade. Or art and music events. Number seven. The only Australian beer. I'm trying to think of the name of that Australian beer. It's the with the green on it, and it's like three letters. Whatever. I know. I know what it. I just have a bad memory. This is a really cool bridge. Perth. Perth is located on the western side of Australia and is isolated from the rest of the country. Perth is one of the most livable cities thanks to its relaxed atmosphere, fantastic cultural attractions and wide range of activities. Most of Perth's attractions are near the water, so a stroll on the beach along the Sunset Coast is the biggest attraction in this city. The most... <laughs> I feel like some people in Perth might be like, uh, it's not... You're going to say that's the biggest attraction is driving? <laughs> along the Sunset Coast... It but that does sound very cool. A nice sunset down the coast, I'll take it. ...is the biggest attraction in this city. The most popular beach for young people and tourists is kind of slow beach. You can also... Kind of slow? Kind of slow beach? Pokemon got pizza. ...to enjoy parks, walks, and picnic spots along the Swan River. Whoa, Take a stroll cool. through the Perth Zoo for a close encounter with kangaroos hmm. and other native animals. Don't forget to visit Kings Park one of the largest urban parks in the world. I never thought about Don't a forget kangaroo. to visit Kings Park. One of the- Like drinking out of the lake before. Like I never had that image in my brain until now. Now I do. I don't know what to think about it. The largest urban parks in the world. This park features a botanical garden with aerial walkways and the State Man. War Memorial Park is also- Everything looks so expensive in Australia, I swear. All the, all the parks and stuff, just beautifully maintained, really cool architecture. There. Number eight, Broome. Once the pearl capital of the world, Broome in Western Australia is now a booming tourist town and the gateway to the spectacular Kimberley region. Its star mm. tourist attraction, Cable Beach, with seemingly endless white sands and turquoise Whoa. water is one of Australia's best beaches. And one of the most popular things to do here is riding camels. I didn't know you guys had camels. Camels at sun. How did they get there? <laughs> Sunset. Other highlights. Noah's Ark. Include the Broom Historical Museum, Broom Crocodile Park, Whoa. and the Staircase to the Moon, a phenomenon during certain conditions between March and October where the moonlight creates an optical illusion of steps leading to the moon. What? From Broome, you can explore the rugged and remote Kimberley region and its incredible natural attractions. This trunk on this tree is just fat. Wow. I'd, it looks like it was chopped off a thousand years ago and it's just grown new branches for the past thousand years. Like the horizontal waterfall, Cape Levique, the Gibb River Road, the Bungle Bungles, in Pernalulu National Park and the stunning cascades of Mitchell Falls. Number 9. Uluru Katajuta National Park. Deep in the heart of the Red Sea. Those are wild camels? So there's actually wild camels in Australia. Katajuta National Park. Deep in the heart of the Red huh. Center of Australia, you can find Uluru, one of the most photographed natural wonders in the country. The striking red monolith is the centerpiece of Uluru Katajuta National it's so Park. Big. This area is also a World Heritage Site and managed by Parks Australia and the traditional landowners, the Ananu people. Hmm. Uluru means a shadowy place in the local Aboriginal language. Uluru Formation is 348 meters high from the surrounding plain, but most of its volume is hidden underneath. 
In this place, you can find the red dome-shaped rocks called... <laughs> These are just crazy. ...called Katajuta. When the sun falls, sight... Do people like rock climb up? Up the side of these things. Sightseers gather to watch Uluru and Katajuta. Their colors are transformed by the shifting light. Number 10. The Pinnacles. The Pinnacles are located... Ah, yes, the Pinnacles. ...within Nambung National Park. They are not far from the small town of Cervantes in Western Australia. Due to their remote location, the spectacular limestone formations <laughs> largely remained unknown until 1967. The pinnacles rising dramatically from the desert floor look like- That's crazy. I mean, it looks like, it's like Australia's five o'clock shadow. You know, like this part of the Australia didn't shave today. Like weathered tombstones and number in the thousands. Together, they make for an incredible sight as sand from the coastal dunes blows through the otherworldly looking landscape. Australia is one of the most unique destinations in the entire world. It has something for everyone. It has a lot to offer for all ages, from the youngest to the oldest. And there's no doubt that this is a destination that you can enjoy with the whole family or on a trip with friends. So, what are you waiting for? Come and visit the land down under. I would love to. <laughs> that was a fun video. Thank you, Joyous Travel. Go check out their I'm going to link them down below, you know, go check them out. I'm not going to lie. I was looking for a little bit more specific. We had some specific things in here, but, you know, not so much cities. That's what you get when you react to videos that you've never seen. <laughs> Sometimes they're not exactly what you think they might be. But that just means I'll have to do it again. <laughs> but this was still fun. Still a great video. So go check out this channel, you know, thumb it up. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you had a fantastic day, you know. And hopefully I'm here tomorrow. I cannot be missing any more videos. Gosh. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>